Uh, how do you suggest not getting lost when playing, improvising over jazz tunes? It's difficult sometimes to be aware of every chord change. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this is the thing is I try not to think about every chord change. I try to think about the melody. If I stay with the melody in my head, the melody of the tune, then I find it harder to get lost. If I just think about the chords, then I could get lost. So let me, I'll show you what I mean. So I'm gonna play all the things you are. So if I think about the chords, um, so it's F minor seven, B flat minor seven, E flat seven, a flat major seven. Some of you are probably lost already. Uh, D flat major seven, G seven, C major seven. That's the first eight bars, and we've got a lot more to go. Now C minor seven, F minor seven, B flat seven, E flat major seven, A flat major seven, A minor D seven, G major seven. We're about halfway through the tune. That's already a lot of chords if you're trying to deal with all that. So here I'm going to try to deal with all that. Two, three, four. That's the C major, now C minor. F minor, B flat, dominant, E flat major seven, A flat major seven, A minor seven, D seven, G major seven. Right? Yeah, that's a lot, and, and there's, there's way more. But if I just think about the melody, it always stays in the right, it always keeps me in the right place. Uh, it's easy for me to get the chords jumbled around, but when I think about them, so now, now I'm going to think about the melody. Two, three, four. And I'm, I'm trying to keep the melody in my head more than the chords. That is hard to do if you're at a jam session and somebody just flips open, uh, you know, a real book or hands you a chart and you don't know the melody. But if if the melody is on the page and you can read, and you can read it, uh, try playing the melody a little bit. Really, the best way to get lost is when you're not looking at the page at all and you really know a tune. So if you play a lot of jazz tunes, it really is on you to memorize the tunes, meaning that you could actually play the melody in the key that normally people play it in and you could even play it in another key if you, if you wanted to. Um, that's when you know a tune. Yeah, the reality of, of jazz is that you're, probably going to get thrown into a situation you know before too long where you're playing or somebody asks you to play a solo over a tune that you don't know um then that's hard <laughs> that takes years to figure out how to do but in the meantime if you're mostly playing standards like all the things you are and autumn leaves and things like that make sure you know the tunes and then i don't think you'll have a problem with being lost it's really about like the tune is the breadcrumbs, you know, on the pathway through the forest. And the chord changes are the trees in the forest. Uh, you need to know those trees. You need to know what they look like. That also can help you from uh, getting lost. But it's better if you've, if you've got that tr trail of breadcrumbs to follow that, that leads you uh, exactly where you need to go. Mm -hmm.